Harriet Tubman, abolitionist, humanitarian, civil war spy, hero, and all-around boss, is one of the most celebrated civil rights activists. She's best known for leading enslaved families and friends to freedom in the North on a system of safe houses known as the Underground Railroad. But little is known about her first husband, John Tubman. John can be considered one of the first hating ass motherfuckers in black history. First of all, John was a freed slave, Harriet was not. When Harriet told him her plans to free herself and others, he wasn't feeling it. He was all like, oh Harriet, if you meddle with freeing the other slaves, it will fuck it up for me. So Harriet was like, look motherfucker, I'm taking action against this fucked up system, okay? Our people, black people, deserve to be free. You're free. Ain't your life better now that you're free? And John was all like, I get that, but what will you do when you get out there? How will you find your way? What's gonna happen when it gets dark? What are you gonna eat? And Harry was like, fuck all that. I'm gonna find a way. Nothing's gonna stop me. And this punk ass John was like, oh really? Well then I'm gonna tell your master. Snatch! So Harry strategically left that motherfucker. She freed mad slaves and remarried a man that truly loves her. And then, bitch boy John Tubman got killed by a white man on a plantation somewhere. Well. Moral of the story. One, if you're with a partner who doesn't believe in your dreams or support you, leave. You're a partner and partners share lives. They don't dictate each other's dreams and or belittle each other for having them. Two, if you're a John Tubman type, get the fuck over yourself. John Tubmans have something that everyone deserves but won't share it for fear that they won't have it anymore. Guess what? The world doesn't revolve around you. Take a look at the bigger picture, you ego slut. Also, there's enough of everything to go around for everybody, especially when we're talking about something like freedom. Everyone deserves freedom. Don't be a John bitch ass tub. If you don't hate her style, you don't hate her beautiful child, that's just what you tell yourself. But, but, I have an issue with people, specifically gay men at work. Um.